Back in 93, I became, you know, I found my calling, right, which is ending mass incarceration and, you know, eliminating mandatory sentencing laws, decriminalizing drugs, freeing the innocent and, you know, reforming the bail system. I've been involved in so many different aspects of this work, making prisons more humane, which is, you can't make them less humane, so it's a good place to start. Um, and uh, it's been, you know, an incredible journey. I, I would say this, you know, when I started this work in 93, somebody who was, I thought, old and wise at the time said to me, hey, kid, just so you know, it takes 30 years to change anything. And I was like, hmm. Ah, well, fuck it. I'm young. Let's go. You know, because I was back then. <laughs> and and here we are 30 years later. And we still have, as we're sitting here now, over 2 million people locked in a cell like you used to be. Right. Steel, concrete. I mean, just hardship of every imaginable kind, deprived of everything that a human soul needs. But by and large, the prison experience in America is as draconian as it can possibly be. And that doesn't benefit anybody. It doesn't benefit free society. It doesn't benefit the people on the inside. It doesn't benefit the guards. It doesn't benefit anybody. 